Hello everybody, this is Aqueous bringing you another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be going into yet another challenge. Uh, yet another uh, stage of the event here for the Stellar Flare. It's going to be the third star. What we learned last episode is that we can do Giant Star and it'll complete both Dwarf and Giant Star at the same time, which is weird. If you could just do the Super Giant Star and complete them all, I think that'd be cooler because like, I don't understand why. Why make it one way, but then like not do it for the last one? I don't know, but yeah, we'll, we'll do giant star here. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that we are going to beat it. So we get a trial Himiko, but I don't think this is nearly as good as ours. Twenty three eighteen. Let's try ours here. Twenty five fifteen. Wow, that one's attack is actually better, but its health is a little lower. So I think we'll actually go with the one that has a better attack. Um. Wait, why do we even need this? Why is this the character? That is so weird, actually. What? Why wouldn't it be like Zilla or something? The boss has quantum. Two other mobs have quantum. For some reason, the trial is Hemika. That just seems weird and off. No, it should be... Or a physical character, because four characters have physical. It should be Clara. That's so weird, actually. Okay. Well, we are just going to completely ignore that then. We're going to go with uh, QQ, Shushang. Um, we're going to probably go with our Luocha. And let's go with uh, March 7th. Since there's four enemies that are ice. This is the time when we really wish that we had Pela. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. We got this. Okay. Holy damage. She really just bops them, doesn't she? Already broken. Perfect. There's the alt. Does not deal very much damage at all yet. Oh my gosh, she is such a strong character. I think QQ actually contests for best erudition character in the game. Um, I th second best maybe, actually. I, I think she's probably not better than... Jing Yuan by any stretch of the imagination, but I think she's actually maybe better than Himiko. I really hate to say it, but I think she's actually better than Himiko, straight up for damage. Just straight up. She can Gamba. Yeah, so it completes both of these. Good. Let's go to Super Giant Star. This is the nine battle one. Uh, this might take us a Saki. So. Crap in. <laughs> and at the current time of recording this video, it's the. It is 33 minutes into July right now. Uh, it's, it's July 1st, uh, midnight 30. Um. And I still haven't done my Bellabog Museum video. I haven't even gotten finished scripting it. I'll probably try and do that best I can next day I'm off. I might finish scripting it and make it next day I'm off. Or maybe try and do it tomorrow, the scripting, and then record it next day I'm off. That damage is just so crazy, guys. Luocha really just clapped him. That was a lot of damage, actually. 
And then QQ just does her regular skill, does 17,000 damage for fun. Does just as much as a uh, Chu Shang's alt. Very, very, very good character. Did we not finish it? What happened? It says we completed it. We didn't do it. Wow. That's genuinely surprising. That we didn't do it. Well, let's try again without March 7th and with a character like Jing Yuan, who's just going to deal so much damage here. Who's going to try and help deal damage? Definitely more than March 7th. Okay, that's huge, and then she's gonna attack again and kill the other guy. Holy cow. Well, that's definitely a lot more damage than March 7th does. And then here comes Stormlord very soon. 69,000 damage. Yeah, that's the damage we were missing. Rise, penis. Huge. I kind of see how the turns are working, like if they make it to their turn, it ticks down one, but if you kill them before your turn is up, it kind of resets the turn. As you can see, the one is back at the bottom again. That's a lot of damage. They're actually going to get this turn off. After this, we're only going to have one turn to beat them and win the game. I think, obviously, we're going to do it very successfully here. That was not a lot of damage. That was huge. Ooh. Oh my god, she did it right before the turn ended! Are you kidding me, Chu Shang? You're such- oh my god, you're such an amazing woman. Oh, I love you, QQ. Yes! Oh, so good. Huge. Jing Yuan just got his ult and didn't have to use it last round. That means that, yeah, he's starting off this round using that massive hit. He's gonna get a 10... He's gonna get a 10 proc ice bit damage. Not ice damage. Lightning sword or whatever it's called. Wow, these guys are really difficult to kill in one round. Maybe we need that. Here we go. I think, yeah, it ends. Oh, wait. We only needed to beat six out of nine. That's weird. Why is there nine then? <laughs> 
Why is there nine battles? We don't, there's no reward for making it to all nine. There's like, there's no reward for doing the total breaks or anything. That's weird. But, oh well. That ends this episode of the Stellar Flare. This is episode three. Uh, yeah, uh, we're doing it. We're, we're moving on. We're moving along. Uh, tomorrow, I can record this one. The next day I can record this one. The next day I can record this one. Next day I can record this one. This one. And then I will be waiting to be able for a, for a time where I can put them all out in order. So this will probably come out. This will all probably be coming out. Uh, I don't know. I got to wait like five days for this stuff. It's crazy. So this will be today. The four hour one one lock. Today, one, two, three, four. So at the best, I'm uploading this event starting on the sixth, and it is eight videos, and then the review. So that would be that would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the review. So that would be the 6th through the 14th if I if I do it like as fast as I possibly can. If I just start uploading the videos once I have them all ready. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see how it ends up going. Obviously, we know that there's going to be 8 videos plus a review. So that would be 9 videos. Um... So that'll take up a good over a week during this month. I think that's actually very, very healthy for me because when I get things like this, maybe a lot of people don't care enough. They're like, why does this deserve an episode? This took you 10 or less minutes to do. It's just you doing a few battles and giving commentary. It's because like everybody does like, not everybody, but like, why does any gameplay channel do any gameplay? I, I'm a channel that plays games. I like to play the events and share with you guys my gameplay. And if they're splitting it up in the days, I'm obviously I'm going to split up the episodes in whatever way it makes sense for each event because I like making semi shorter episodes. Like, I even split up the Bellabog Museum event into five videos and they went over. Like two of two of them, I think, went over a half an hour. They one went like seventeen minutes, but the other ones went over twenty minutes. Like it just depends on the quality of the event as how long the videos are that are going to be, and like how much meat and potatoes are in the event. Um But yeah, this gives me a break, guys. Like things like this actually give me some time to relax. It's like Okay, I have eight videos recorded. It's going to take me... Like, I'm going to set these all to upload over the next eight days. And during that time, I can just focus on thinking about what's next. And making the review. And making it good. And having it release on time. The only reason my Bellabog Museum event hasn't... Like, review hasn't released... Is because I was in North Carolina for a whole week, and then whenever I came back, I'm kind of like rushing because I don't have any, any bulk of content ready because I used I like over recorded before I left, so I would have daily videos the whole time I was gone, and so like yeah, a few like maybe lower effort things came out like just just me doing pulls or something, but you know it it takes me a little bit to get back into it, and I need to I need to keep this daily upload schedule okay, and, and it's not really for anybody else in particular it's for me right it's not for i'm i'm gonna be honest it is not 100 percent for the viewers it is quite a decent bit for me it's because i feel like if i'm making daily videos that's enough of motivation to be like i can't miss a day because if i if i make an excuse to miss a day i'm gonna make an 
I'm going to make an excuse to miss another day at another point. And then I'll make an excuse to miss like two days in a row. And then it's like things like that. And then I just like fall out of it, which I've done so many times before. And I don't want to be in that position again. I just want to keep going full steam ahead. And as long as I have the, as long as I have enough motivation to do it, I'm just going to keep doing it. And yeah, I'm going to upload whatever I want to upload to this channel. Obviously, I want to upload what does well and what people enjoy. That's why I look at my analytics. I look at my analytics literally multiple times a day. And honestly, as you can, as you can probably see, I don't base my content around my analytics. But I do take into consideration what people like to watch, what people like and what people don't like. And I like keep a log of that in my head. Right? If, if I was doing things just off of how many views it got, I wouldn't have a daily upload schedule and I would never upload the gameplays of the event. Because like I think the most a gameplay video of an event has gotten has been like 50 views. I would just do reactions, honestly. I got like 1.7k. It's the most viewed video on my channel is a reaction video right now. I would do, if I was doing everything for views, I would do things like that. Obviously, I don't do everything for views, but I do take into consideration what people like to see. And I try to think of ways I can integrate a little bit more of that. Um, so yeah, with all that being said, I just took like a six and a half minutes of this episode to kind of like talk about some stuff to kind of like vent but if you stuck around for that thank you for watching i really appreciate that um and just have a wonderful day subscribe like the video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it comment below what you're thinking about the stellar flare event so far i know the time gating probably sucks but yeah peace